Morning Goals. I'm Kodo Sugarbomb speaking, and I'm Abigail Graham. Welcome to the Fool's Day, April 22nd edition of the Gopher News Show. Our lunch choices for today are PB and J sandwich, grilled chicken Caesar salad, macaroni and cheese, fruit and milk. Our breakfast choices for Friday, April 23rd, are pancake and sausage sandwich and fruit and milk. The lunch choices for Friday, April 23rd, are PB and J sandwich, lean machine combo. Pizza, fruit, and milk. Today's high will reach new 81 degrees and mostly sunny. And now, this is the history of Earth Day. The idea for Earth Day was originally born in 1969 when a U.S. senator named Gaylord Nelson witnessed the effects of a massive oil spill in Santa Barbara, California. He called to action all Americans to take a stand for the environment in 1970 and thousands of colleges and universities across the United States organized protests for a healthy, sustainable earth. This included air pollution from factories and freeways, as well as the loss of habitats for animals and animal extinction. Because of these natural rallies, the first earth that helped create the United States Environmental Protection Agency and the Clean Air, Clean Water, and Endangered Species Acts into law. Today, we have similar concerns, and unfortunately, they are even messier than that original oil spill. Increasing natural disasters, extreme river, and rising global temperatures may be seen as possible for one human, let alone millions or even billions of humans to slow down or stop. It has been reported that coral reefs are dying. We see pictures of animals on land and in the ocean with trash in their bellies all around their body and corporate factories and large companies around the world continue to pollute our air and living spaces. But small action, like picking up our riddle on a sidewalk that may have otherwise ended up around the neck of an animal or in the ocean, still makes an impact. A step in the right direction and an important change. Happy birthday to Austin A in fourth grade, Dominic D in fourth grade, Colton J in fourth grade, London K in kindergarten, and Wyatt P in kindergarten. Students may be testing. Please watch for the red signs walk quiet, and walk quietly when outside your classroom. Remember to be safe, brave, responsible, and respectful. We, we hope fifth, fifth graders, graders did good on Science, Science Cambridge yesterday. yesterday and the day before. Thank you for watching. Have, Have a great, great golf day! day.